Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, may problem tayo regarding algebra. Pero before natin ito sagutan, shoutout muna kay Engineer Roderick Cabanya and salamat sa Lodi Geek sa support mo sa channel natin and I hope you all the best idol and see you soon. So if y and square root of y squared minus 2023 are positive integers, find the maximum value of y. So kung positive integers sila guys, pwede natin sabihin na, okay, lagay natin dito yung solution. So for the solution part, it follows that the, ito kasi simple lang naman siya yung y. Alam natin na yung y is positive kasi maximum value of y. So most likely that's positive. Pero dito, let us say that the value of the square root of y squared minus 2023 is equal to a certain positive integer a. Kasi tandaan natin na ang square root is always greater than or equal to 0. So equals a natin yan. So how do we deal with that sir ij? So the first thing that we must uh, con that we must be concerned of is yung square root natin. So how do we how do we eliminate that? So we can square both sides of the equation. So squaring this and squaring this. So this will yield us with y squared minus 2023 equals a squared. So upon combining yung mga variables natin, so we can rewrite this as y squared minus a squared equals 2023. Tapos, alam natin that this is in the form of difference of two squares. So, pwede natin siyang isulat as y plus a multiplied by y minus a equals 2023. Okay? So, ang goal natin is maghahanap tayo ng factors ng 2023. So, alam natin na ang 2023 is 1 times 2023. Pero kung titingnan kasi natin yan, pwedeng divisible siya by 7. So yung 2023, divide natin by 7, so that's 289. Um, 289. Itong 289 is equivalent to 17 squared, or that's 17 times 17. In which that means that 2023 can be written as 7 times 17 squared. However, the problem is asking for the maximum value of y. So, pwede natin i-consider na yung 2023 is equal to 2023 times 1 and vice versa. So, we can have y plus a, separate lang natin sila mga lodi, 2023, y minus a equals 1. Since we are looking for the value of y, just add the two equations. So, we have 2y equals 2024, divide by 2 both sides to obtain the value of y. Therefore, the maximum value of y is 1,012. If you are looking for the minimum value, mga Lodi Cakes, pwede mo tong i-separate. So this can be separated as um, 17 multiplied by 7 times 17, that's 119. So pwede natin siyang gawin. So this is the maximum, guys. Ha? Kasi for sure, baka itanong nyo rin, Sir IJ, what if we are looking for the minimum value of y? No. So, if you are looking for the minimum value of y, pwede mo siyang kunin as ganito. So, let's say y plus a equals 119 and y minus a equals um, 17. So, just add the two equations. So, we have 2y equals 136, y equals 68. So, ito na yung magiging minimum value niya if we are looking for the minimum value. Since positive kasi yung sinabi, mga Lodi Cakes. So I hope you learned something new for today. And if ever you have questions or clarifications, huwag po kayo maya magtanong. So basically guys, sobrang grateful po si Sir IJ. Siyempre na-feature tayo sa 24 oras. And ayun, marami pang nag-subscribe. And sana mas marami pa ako matulungan in the future sa mga tutorials natin regarding math and engineering related contents. I hope you all the best guys. Keep safe. Bye-bye and God bless.